everybody, Simon here, Bangkok Chronicles number whatever it is, ah, I think it's four maybe. So we've covered quite a bit so far, the basics, got the condo, got a laptop, got the internet, starting to mooch around and I've just had a lead for a new area. Now this is a couple of months in, I also mentioned about starting the date in the wife. So we'll jump onto the wife thing first. After about two months I hadn't been with a woman and I remember I had the phone number for this girl. This girl came in with her friend to my bar back in Batea. They were down for a day trip. They both worked in a factory in Bangkok. Um, and I had a hangover. She came in, had a drink. Went out and bought some paracetamol for me and gave me paracetamol. We were complete strangers. She didn't ask for the money. That stuck in my head. Anyway, I had her number. Contacted the first time. It was the end of the day, early evening, because I knew she worked all day. Um, she didn't speak any English, hardly any English. Luckily when I got through on the phone there was another girl with her who spoke English. That was so lucky. Otherwise the relationship could have gone out the window there and then. But after a lot of chatting backwards and forwards um, it turned out she was an HR manager in a factory. About 250 people in this factory. In fact she shared the job, there was two of them. So she looked after the hiring and firing and also the payroll and the money. And there was two people doing the same job. But she worked six days a week from eight in the morning till six at night. She had Sundays off and she earned 10,000 baht a month. But back 14, 13 years ago, 15 years ago, that was a lot of money then. But she shared a room with this other girl that I'd met. And after her rent and food and bills that she had, it only left her with about a thousand baht a week through the month which is what, 25 pounds? And she still managed to save some money out of that each month, which is quite admirable. Anyway, so the only real chance of seeing her was on the Sundays. Where she lived and worked was an hour with rush hour traffic south of Bangkok. Um, I won't go into specifics, but it was in the Paramsom Mahachai Om, Omnoi area. So south of Bangkok. And we started dating. First date was on a Sunday lunchtime. I think I met her in Paramsom in a shopping mall. We four months of dating on Sundays, and then a couple of times I'd go down in the evening after work meet her. Um, but it went on a good four months before we started hooking up together more seriously. Um, and then a couple more months getting more and more serious. So it was six months means I'd been in Bangkok by the time we could say we were boyfriend girlfriend for six months um, maybe eight months yeah it's a long time but we dated just like normal people you know it was proper dates and it was nice I'm glad we dated and did everything the traditional way um, and we got to know each other quite well it was great but then from that point with the missus We'll leave to other videos. But that's how we started dating in Bangkok. So back, so I've been in Bangkok a couple of months. Everything's pretty much set up. Didn't have that much money, remember. I started with about $3,000 in the bank. So I had to start earning money. Um, I just spent $300, $400 to get a work permit through a company. So money, it was crucial that I started earning money. I mean originally I was only going to stay there for six months but it became apparent I thought there is a way of staying here for longer with buying and selling using the internet. I had to find products that I could sell online that were the right price that after shipping and all the duties and everything else and tax and eBay fees and PayPal fees that I still make a profit. So I started slow with little items that were lightweight um, and it was things like specialised phone cases, USB cables, memory cards, mainly computer and phone stuff at first, um, for the first couple of months. Now I had problems galore for the first three months with eBay and PayPal. Because I was living in Thailand, I had a Thai bank account, 
I had English bank account, I had an English address with my family's address, and buying and selling throughout the world. So I had an eBay Thailand account, eBay.com, and eBay UK. And the same with the PayPal accounts. They weren't happy, they all kept conflicting, giving me loads of grief. I had to keep sending paperwork all, all over the place to them. And eventually I twigged the way of doing it. My customers were mainly gonna be UK based, I decided. I knew that market better. So I used the UK eBay, the UK PayPal, and the money would go to my UK bank. I could draw from my cash point, uh, my Visa debit card, from my UK bank I could draw in Thailand but there's charges again so eventually after settling for eBay UK PayPal UK everything seemed to work okay so I started from this new lead which I'll go on to in a minute getting certain phone cases that I couldn't find on eBay with anything wherever you're selling you need to learn the marketplace I had to spend hundreds of hours on eBay researching and for instance just one of the phone covers there was no one else selling this one type um, price wise it was selling for about five pounds six dollars if I could get it to the UK buying at about 50 pence shipping cost was about a pound one pound fifty eBay fees 50p uh, PayPal me pulling the money out it works out I can make two pound on one of these cases so it gave me rough figures on money so I bought a couple of each item at first um, put them on eBay and I tried different formats you buy it now and all this buy it in seven days loads of different formats and again there were restrictions because of where I was with my the computer gave out the IP address on the internet and that caused problems but eventually I got the formula works it all out I can make a couple of pound an item at three or four pound on memory cards three pound on USB and I could see that there was the numbers were there so I'd say month three and month four I was constantly buying two three four five items different items putting them on and they were selling I had quite a few problems returns I had to work out the length of time it took to get a product from Thailand to the UK uh, I soon learned that the way of you had to get all the wording right on eBay you had to be 100% perfect on description pictures the more the better disclaimers letting people know that the goods were coming from Thailand and they would take 7 to 12 working days and really focus on that on the adverts that it's going to take that long but there's the benefits for the price um, I got all returns any returns would go to my UK address it wasn't worth them shipping all the way back to Thailand it was too much hassle if there was a problem but the stuff I was picking wasn't really going to break provided I wrapped it properly don't get a problem with memory cards and USB cables and cases and things PayPal always guarantee money back as well for buyers so I made a big thing of that on my adverts look your stuff's guaranteed everything's fine and being totally honest on all the eBay adverts it seemed to work I got the right formula and people started to buy off me and were happy and leaving positive feedback that was a key factor um, and it started trickling along money started coming in so I was selling after month two of being in Thailand uh, in Bangkok for that first month I was making about 10 pounds a day now that's not a lot but then I managed to get more and more products little things I was trying out um, like little torches and it was just key rings all sorts of little lightweight things a bit different uh, jeweler loops the little things where they're looking into the diamonds and gold and checking all that out they sold really well so I started increasing the amount of products I had just buying five ten of them creeping it up so I ended up having a bit of a stock in the condo 
then the money was going up to £20 a day. And as soon as it got to £20 a day, that was £140 a week. That was nearly £600 a month. Um, profit, net profit. My outgoings, remember, were 10000 baht for the condo, which back then was £150 a month. I was probably spending 100 a month on food, um, another £50 a month travelling around. So 300 a month I was living for. When I got up to six, about 600 a month income, money was going to the UK, pulling it out, sorting any returns problems out, kept everything good. I was making a profit. Um, okay, I'd have to take into consideration, I think it was the 4% tax for Thailand. Um, and I wasn't being hit with any export duties at that time and there was no import duties in the UK because the products were small, low cost, one-offs, not at bulk. So good, it was all good. So let's say four months in, I was earning £600 a month just selling little items on eBay. Um, it took a lot of time to list them all and photographs. And it was a lot of work, but I had a lot of time. And I started getting my day around, keeping out of the heat. So from like, I got a routine. I was going out for breakfast, having a walk around. Then from like 11 in the morning till three or four in the afternoon, I was on the computer. Then I would go out when it was cooler, everything was still open and hunt around for all the new stuff, learn the areas. So it worked really well. So I found myself legally buying and selling on the internet from Bangkok, mainly to the UK, with just simple products and making a small wage. This was great. It suddenly dawned on me six months in that, okay, I'm not gonna have to go back to the UK. Um, I can start looking at expanding this, making more money. Um, and we'll see where it went. And that was my attitude. It was, if I've got to get on a plane tomorrow and go back to the UK, that, so be it. Um, and that was the best attitude to have, I think. Now, I wasn't out womanising. I wasn't out drinking every night. I'd have a few beers, but quite often I'd go to the 7-Eleven and buy a load of beer which was cheap, it was 30, 25, 30 baht for a beer, and had a fridge in the condo. I'd just bung it in there and I'd be drinking at home, out on the balcony, it was lovely. Sometimes I'd go for a swim and sit by the pool and have a couple of beers. Really, it was working out great. I was beginning to get to know neighbours in the condos. People were recognising me around Pratanam, chatting to people. Started getting a few friends, there was a lot of foreigners like me doing a similar thing and you started coming to keep coming across each other uh, bumping into it and you get talking and then you start sharing ideas and learning from each other and I met quite a few in Pantit Plaza um, and one guy uh, I met was uh, he was uh, a teacher originally and then he lost his job and he couldn't be bothered to do it and he started buying and he was buying and selling just memory sticks bumped into him and we had a few drinks and got got to know each other quite well and he put me on to cheaper ways of shipping and also a good tip he was do not ship from Pratanam post office because that stamp is well known around the world even if your goods are all above board they know so much counterfeit products came out of Pratanam in, in Thailand and that stamp, Pratanam Post Office, it was a target for the customs. And he taught me, you go to another post office, further down the road, different stamp, less problems. Which was good. Um, he, was, uh, he was shipping a lot of memory cards, but he was doing it all over the world. And he had his own website, so he was doing really well and he was making better living than he was as a as a teacher so it is possible to do whether he had work permits and things i don't know i never bothered pushing for that information so that that gives you the basis of how i managed to start in bangkok and, and the basics what we'll do on the next few videos is i'm going to start focusing on certain products now that way 
you, you know, I'll do watches for a video, I'll do handbags, I'll do all the knickknacks and things. And that way yeah, you can see where they were, what the differences were, were the different grades, where you buy them, where I found the cheapest. So the next few videos for any of you wanting to buy products, hopefully will give you the information you want. And that's the main reason for these Bangkok Chronicles. Okay, it's a bit of my story, how I met the wife and everything. But it's really to give you some insight into all the beautiful hidden places in Bangkok. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.